All right, hello. Welcome to One Who Seeks. I'm going to try something different today. One, I'm looking at you. Hi. Um, welcome to the fifth wheel. There's three dogs in here with me, so sorry if there's any interruptions. Um, all right. I'm excited. Trying new things. Exploring different ideas. You know, trying to think outside the box, trying to do things that other people haven't done before um, that are going to be fun for everyone. All right. So we're going to do a spread here. It's actually a little card holder as well for traveling. And it has different sayings on it going down which i've covered up right now because i'm just underlining that we're going to do the past present and the future so this is a three card spread okay and i'm going to use three different decks all right i invite our angels to guide us on our journey have I'm so tongue-tied today bring us protection and guidance have me be a clear channel for our highest good and for the good of others Thank you. I give you gratitude for all the blessings that you provide on a day-to-day -day basis to lead me on my path and to lead all of you on your path. For the collective. Ooh, this one's jumping out. So we have the Page of Swords. In your past. So the page is about being young, you know, kind of a preteen, teenage years there. And pages are about bringing messages, right? Books have pages. They have messages. They have stories. They have information inside those pages. And swords is about your mind and challenges. Right, but you look like you don't have a care in the world. You're barefoot, walking around in the grass, holding your sword, you're just kicking up your feet. La di da. Yeah. So maybe something about you needing to be careful, like you weren't very careful in your past. You know, you have this mentality of, I'm young and I can survive anything. Um, I'm invincible, right? As a teenager, I always felt like I was invincible. Nothing could hurt me. I'd do crazy things um, that I definitely wouldn't do now. <laughs> now that I'm older and I have some more knowledge. Um, seeing the consequences of actions. You know, really looking at that beforehand. Maybe you didn't do that in the past. And in your present. We have the Two of Cups. That's beautiful. It looks like you have two lovers here under the moon, having some sort of a little picnic or something in the water. <laughs> but he is filling her cup. And he 
he's holding her hand at the same time. He's pouring himself into her. He's giving the gift. Yeah. Looks like there's a fairy here within this light. I'm going to be granting your wish. This is something that you're, you're wishing for is love. Somebody to fill your cup. Somebody who's emotionally stable. Bringing union. And just peace. It's, you're surrounded in water. You're literally standing in water. You're standing in these emotions as he's filling your cup. And this is just the masculine and the feminine. Take it how it resonates. You can switch the roles. I'm just calling it how I see it in the picture. You know, there's new beginnings. You know, maybe you're grown up now. You're moving on from this teen who's reckless and just doing whatever they want and thinking they know everything and you're now looking for love you want to settle down be more grounded <clears throat> excuse me okay and then we have our future here <sighs> tell us about our future For the collective, remember this is about your intuition just as much as it is about mine. When you bring the collaboration together of both of the visions that we see and hear, maybe even smell or can touch. All right, there's different signs, synchronicities. Something's going to resonate with you. Maybe you had asked your angels for a sign, <clears throat> and maybe that sign is here. Oh, beautiful. Nine of Pentacles. Hey, the hard work is done. This is coming to fruition. This is the harvest. This is the joy of all your hard work coming together and you are enjoying the product. The outcome. <clears throat> you definitely have some messages coming in. You have this white dove here. Birds are about messages. A little birdie sitting on your shoulder. Telling you things. A little birdie told me, my grandma used to say all the time. You know, and this is about your roots, growing things. You know, you're definitely learning new things, exploring different parts of your life. <clears throat> Now you had your, your freedom of kind of doing whatever you want as a child and you know, you're growing up and when you grow up it's all about love and marriage and baby in a baby carriage, you know. Your future is looking really bright and this could even be a career here. You have the love. Somebody's filling your cup. You also have a, um, a bowl here that has pentacles in it. 
symbolizing that your cup is filled. Yeah, so you're filled with love and emotion. You're also filled with uh, earth, body. The universe is really providing for you. It's on your side, is watching you. And guiding you into something beautiful, healthy. You're learning new things. There's a book behind her here. Growing a garden. Really taking care of your body, eating nutritious, eating your greens. Looks like some lavender here. You're at peace. And you can to pick and choose what you want to eat at the moment. The bird's telling her, eat this one. This is what your body's telling you to eat, right? Nourish yourself. Hmm. So I'm going to use this fourth deck here uh, for clarification. All right. And so I'm learning mm -hmm. okay so I'm learning about clarification so what I'm gonna do um, so I'm wondering about this romantic relationship that we have here this present relationship that you have so I'm gonna shuffle and find the lovers card Yeah, oh, lovers is right there. Oh man, I'm not even sure how I pulled this off here. <laughs> I don't know if that was the top or the bottom. Uh, so that, we're gonna pull an extra one. See, try new things. Yeah, obviously you can tell what's going on here because you just watched it and you can rewind. <laughs> So I'm not sure which one I had on top. I think it was this one here, this Nine of Pentacles. But I also have this Three of Cups, of which I'm not sure um, if that was that one. Right, so that was the one on top. And the card in front is the way to connect into the flow of love with this person. Okay, so these are the cards that are on top. So the way to connect with your lover is going to be one of these. Since I have a brain fart right now, right? So this could mean maybe a thirty third party situation. There's somebody else. Uh, so we're talking about two different people here, maybe. We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Because, you know, we do have the third party. We have the three. This is emotions. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is about wisdom and abundance. All right, so maybe you need to make a choice here. The way to connect into the flow of love with this person. Mm -hmm. So maybe you're gardening with this person. Doing some yard work. You're building something. You're getting creative. Because this three is creativity. Right, and then we have the one that's underneath uh, is what separates you. And we have, oh, the artist. Okay, this font is hard to read. 
the artist. You see, so about being creative will bring your partner closer to you, right? This is part of the learning new things. You're learning new things, and you're you're abundant. So you know maybe your financial situation is great. So you know that's not affecting the relationship. This guy looks like um, he's surfing or something. He it reminds me of Harry Potter. He's like riding this stick or this wand. Not really sure what it is, um, but he looks like he's surfing. So he's going with the flow. But he also looks like he's scribing into it. And he has wings on his ankles. Some sort of, um, this is very mystical. This is about manifesting and the angels bringing you what you're asking for. You just need to work your way through these emotions. Figure out your plan the big castle on the back, all your wishes coming true. Okay, but this is the card that separates you, right? So maybe you're, you're working too hard, right? You're really trying to manifest this. And so you're working really hard. And you're scribing it out and you're moving lightning fast. You got these wings on your ankles and your feet. You know, maybe that's what the third party is and your partner is kind of just left here all alone. Most of the time, the third party is your work because you're trying to build this for this person, right? but it's also keeping you separated at the same time because you're kind of in this fantasy land up in the clouds, but you are manifesting it. All right, let's see here. Um, I think I'm feeling like a little bit of mermaid oracle. But your hard work's gonna pay off. You know, all that hard work. Right? I think you're just so used to being a loner and doing things on your own and not having this partnership that it's kind of foreign to you feels weird feels awkward right and so you kind of just spend some time to yourself you really get your your head in the clouds but you're getting, you're very artistic, right? So you're creating something. You're growing something. This is ultimately only going to grow after all of this happens, right? So in order for this to happen, you need to have that, that separation, the third party. But he's filling your cup here. This is what he's doing. So that you can have this beautiful life. Drink your wine. You know, you can drink it with your friends. Celebrate. It's all about your creativity. Okay, we're going to ask the mermaids. Sanctuary. Privacy. Influent personal space. Respected boundaries and taboos. So beautiful mermaid. 
in the bathtub. Number 28, which is 10, which breaks down to one. So something is ending and new beginnings. Right. Eventually this isolation is going to end. But you also need that personal space to figure it out. Right? Doing the work in order to get clearer. Drift, letting go, allowing a higher force to take charge for a time. Okay, this is that mystical card again, right? It all comes back down to this, the artist. All these clouds here. Right? That's letting the higher force take charge. So just float there in the water, relax a little bit. Relax. Mm -hmm. I just realized you probably can't see these cards. Turns, earthy spirituality, community, ocean cons conservation. She's pregnant. She's just kind of protecting herself. The bottom of the ocean. There's a lot of earth here. Uh, a lot of gardening and nurturing yourself and your family. Direction. Lord, please show me the right action right now. Please bring a sign and a miracle that gives clear direction. May I hear the promptings of my own body. And if for some reason I'm about to head the wrong way, please stop me. Mm hmm The artist here. You know, he's kind of surfing. He's definitely flying. Getting clear direction. You're scribing it down. Right? We've been talking about body. The body. We're asking for guidance. Spaciousness. What do I no longer need? Help me, God, to release whatever people, places, or things drain my vital essence. Show me that will, what will fill me with enthusiasm and joy. Right? Being creative. Right? Third party. People, places, or things that are draining my vital essence. <laughs> Show me what will fill me with enthusiasm and joy. <clears throat> it's filling your cup. Your cup is filled here. Guide me on this path. Beyond Luminera, which is interesting. So we have Luminera here and the mermaids. This is the Luminera deck, Oracle. 
32, which is five changes, internal explorer. All right, this is what we keep talking about, the artist. This is the explorer. He's manifesting these things. He's exploring things. He's learning new things. showing the other camera <laughs> heart is where the home is home is where the heart is <laughs> palindrome tongue-tied yeah you're really finding your home here you're finding this love Right? You're learning these new things. You're planting the seeds. You're growing. You're celebrating. Here to create positive change for myself and for others. Your mission is to create positive change through love, peace, and purpose, and then to lead others to do the same. By leading, we don't mean searching for approval and validation from everyone else so your ego can flex. True leaders don't parade around the world trying to get other people to believe in them. True leaders help others believe in themselves, resulting in Activation for the mentee and fulfilled for the mentor. You were born to lead. Thank you for being here. Thank our angels. I have gratitude for you. For always protecting us and guiding us on our path. And I thank all of you for being here. And if you found this message useful. Please share, like, and subscribe so that others can get the same benefit as you and help me grow my channel at One Who Seeks Tarot. Thank you and have a good day.